Hello everyone from Chelsea Fan TV, my name is Alex, I'm standing outside Wembley with Matt, we just lost in the Carabao Cup, a heartbreaking loss against Liverpool, Matt, I, I fucking share your disappointment, I right. share We're it. fucking pathetic, we're actually pathetic, we're pathetic in the first half and we can't finish no chances in the second, I don't know what happened with that offside goal but I'm pretty sure it was unfair because I had me Tottenham power messaging me saying that we got screwed, nine minute game. Again, we're losing in the fucking, in the last, mate, it's fucking so annoying. They didn't have their first team out, mate. There is no fucking reasons why we should be losing this game. Someone's got to go, Sax Poch is not good enough, and some of them players are not fucking good enough, mate. The game is about scoring fucking goals, and we cannot score goals. And it's a piss take, we've had opportunities, we've had... We had no plan from the start, mate. We're a bunch of young kids who absolutely shit their pants, mate, when it comes to a big stage. This, this team was there for the taking. Shut up. This, here, this team was here for the fucking taking, and we didn't fucking take it. Fucking hell, they treated us like a delivery road pickup, mate. They fucking picked us up and took us some fucking geezers out and paid a tenner, mate. Apart from us, cunts spent fucking 200 odd quid odd for the fucking day out for this shit. It's a fucking joke. No one's fucking good enough. We need Roman Abramovich back. We need someone who's a winner's back. We've got no winners at the club. The club is fucked from the fucking, from the fucking directors to the fucking players, to the manager, to the fucking players. Everyone. Medical staff, they're fucked. Mate, they're all in a fucking agency. Fucking getting paid an extra 20 quid because they're not with the fucking firm. This club is fucked. Look at it from two years ago. We're, we're gone. We're gone. I, can you come back from this? Oh, wait, what's, what's Poch going to do? What's the next game? Leeds, Leeds on Wednesday. We'll probably end up losing that. They're second in the fucking championship. They're going to show us They're going to show us a winning mentality. We've just got a bunch of fucking youths, mate. Prince Andrew's going to be snooping around the stadium in a few weeks with Jeffrey Epstein of all our youngsters, mate. Pedo FC. Chelsea. That's who we are, mate. We, we, we lost to a bunch of youth, kid, mate. Next thing you know, we'll be paying 100 million for half their youngsters. Because that's what we do. Someone plays, someone plays two good games and we pay 100 mil for them. Well, I, I agree with you. We've got a lot of young players on that. And, and there's definitely a fucking mentality problem from the top of the club. I mean, that, that's clear to see. Um, can we change it around? Mate, no. The team's fucked. Like, we're we're going to be 11th, mate. We ain't got a game this week. We're going to be 11th. Not even our beloved tenth that we've been holding on to for fucking a year and a half. Matt. The team's fucked. We can't score goals. Like, don't get me wrong, Nicholas Jackson's a lot better from the left, but we need, to, we need a striker. We need someone who can score. Like, the people keep going on about, oh, look what Havertz, Havertz is scored, Havertz is scored. Havertz is doing well in a good Arsenal team. My, who's Havertz going to come in for this game? No one. I don't hear nothing about Havertz anymore. Oh, he's doing well for I don't give a fuck. He was shit for us. Nothing about Havertz. I don't give a fuck about that cunt. Honestly, I don't. And all we hear is like, oh, he's good here, he's good here. Mate, Arsenal are doing well. When Chelsea are doing well, he's done all right. He's an average player. We've got better players in the team. He don't come into none of this team. So I don't hear no Havertz bullshit because he scored and fucking we don't get goals. Havertz ain't gonna change that. No fucking player's gonna change it. What's gonna change is getting someone else in. Or get a different manager in. Someone who can get something out of someone because right. no one's chilling. So let's say you had to pick one one person who was who was responsible for this. You know, we can look at the management, we it's can look at the players or, fucking, or, or the directors potentially. Or mate, the, you know, whoever's in charge of recruitment. Mate, maybe we should have fucking let fucking Jim Ratcliffe spend 100 million or 101 build fucking put a 25 percent into this country and put his 10 pence in because he seems to be fucking buying trying to do something we're doing absolutely fuck all mate I, all i think i've seen is getting worse and worse and worse his club's costing me in 600 pound in bets this season well i thought we we're gonna do better than we are we're shit we're actually dog shit we are absolutely dog shit mate are you still gonna keep coming well, yeah, because I'm a div. Like, I'm a little Chelsea rent boy div. Like, but that's what I do. But other than that, like, mate, honestly, it fucking winds me up, mate. Look, it's fucking red. It should be fucking blue. Fucking a bunch of you little young 16-year-olds, mate. Fucking against Chelsea. It's a fucking joke. Honestly, I'm so... I'm literally I'm so annoyed, mate. This, this was our chance to become... Or start the process of becoming winners, oh, and we've we've started off in the wrong wins, way, mate. Because no, that, that's what I mean. We no one in this club is a winner. We've just got a bunch of kids, mate. We've just finished school about four years ago, mate. If that, 
Do you mean I'm following a bunch of kids who are 19 years old, mate? I'm 29 years old, and I'm literally supporting kids who are fuck up, like, uh, mate. What the fuck are they doing? What the fuck with them subs? Like, I see Chilwell was tired. I don't give a fuck if you're tired, mate. Fucking tie them fucking boots up. Put a pair of black pair of boots on like fucking Gilchrist, mate, and fucking stick it on them, mate. Fucking my neb, three minutes left of the game, mate. Fucking don't act all tired, blowing out, fucking acting like a pussy and that. Fuck that, be a fucking man. Fucking bloke. I can know if not, go join Chelsea Women's, mate. Fucking joke. We can't play a fucking full game, mate, without people being shit. Like, how the fuck this game not for the taking? So you think Pochettino's substitutions let us down? Mate, yes. 100%. I just don't get... I just don't get the bloke. I don't get him. I'm, I'm not saying... If I was a manager, I'd fucking get that team relegated. But I'm not. But I see simple things. And this cunt don't. He spurs he from the toes to his fucking ears. The cunt that spurs he as fuck. He's doing me head in. What? Mourinho back, yeah? Mate, I'll take anyone back, mate. I'll take anyone. I'll take... Literally, I'll... Would you take Potter back? <laughs> don't take the piss, Alex. <laughs> no, yeah, but we were playing better attacking football with Potter. We weren't scoring, but like, we were better as a team. But definitely defensively. Like, mate, I just don't see it. We were sh but we had no, no one even wanted to be there last year, so you can't compare. It's a different team to last year. What, what, what can we do, mate? I mean, uh, uh, let's, let's be realistic. Do you yeah, think it's they... Few players. It's time to go! It's time to go. It's time to go. You're not good enough. You need to go good enough. Roman Abramovich did not spend God knows how many billions just to watch this right now. He's watching Bowley fuck up his empire they built up in 22 years in a fucking... When 2003 left the year, 19 years in fucking less than two years, mate. The club's fucked. We don't even go into a game thinking we can win. We're even on a bigger pitch today. We play better on a bigger pitch because they can't low block as easy and we were still motherfucking dog shit. We're shit. We're so shit. We can't score goals. We can't do absolutely nothing. We're a bunch of fucking wasters. Mate, I, mate, I don't even know, mate. I'm literally so annoyed, mate. What, 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 do you say, um, what do you say to Chelsea fans watching from home, your experience coming today? Check your airline after the game, mate, because honestly, I think mine's going back a little bit, mate, honestly, because this is fucking doing me in, mate. Really, it's so stressful. Mate, I'm getting, like, people share stories of me in the two seconds. Like, Man United fans who's been to fucking one United game in their life. It's like, mate, you don't even know, like, Arsenal fans tagging me in after the game. You don't even know what it's like coming to every game and losing. Don't act like you're some big mad supporter because you don't go to every game. You don't know the struggles of spending £200 and going elsewhere, travelling, hotels, everything. Sorry for your hand. Everything. And then go and lose in the game. Coming all the way to Wembley, I've got work in the morning, do you know what I mean? I'm, like, I've had a few bit. Beverage Genos and all this type of bollocks, yeah. And mate, I just want to see the club win. This is the fucking third or fourth final I've lost in a fucking row here, mate. Like I'm sick of watching. I think Lewis said six in a row. Yeah, we've lost six, but like I've been to four. <laughs> this man here. Roman, bit scabby, yeah. This man, we love you. Russian oligarch or not, we don't care. <laughs> If it means supporting you, we'll support you for any crisis, mate. Hi guys, I hope you're doing very well. This video is sponsored by Match Bingo. Match Bingo is an easy way of having fun uh, when it comes to betting on the football. Now, think of bingo, but without numbers. So rather than having 10, 12, 5, you would have corners, yellow cards, and goals, for example. And that would be an example of a line. Now, you can win up to £175 each game with Match Bingo. There are some games you can win more, and spend is only capped at £2. All right, so if you're worried about not playing responsibly, this is probably a good game for you. I do just want to give these guys a, a little bit of appreciation as well because 35% of, of the money they make actually goes to the Stroke Association, which, um, it's really, really good, to be fair. Um, I don't know many companies that do that. Let me know what you guys think. Click the link in the description and uh, make sure you're over 18 as well.